Coach Woodman Show is brought to you by Little General. The Coach Woodman Show will be on TimesWV.com each Wednesday before Fairmont State football games. You guys are finally coming off a win. Um, is, is the preparation any different coming off of a win or a loss, or is it just kind of like the, the emotional side of things coming off a win as compared to a loss? It's probably a little bit stricter on us. Uh, I think that you know, we have to uh, keep going in the direction we're going. And it took a while for us to get in that direction and the guys preparing and uh, doing the things they had to do to win. So uh, now it's our job just to stay on top of them and, and keep pushing them in the right direction and, and not let them uh, go back to any bad way or, or bad habit. You know? So uh, the good thing is we have an off week. Uh, we can kind of let uh, all the all the joy get out, you know, and, and focus on getting back to basics for a week and then start going after Urbana here in another week. So, uh, what goes into that bye week as far as preparation goes? I mean, I know usually it's, it's business as usual, but you guys do have the, the luxury of, of not having to go out and play a game this week. So, I mean, yeah, we'll do a lot of, uh, a lot of prep for the next three weeks, really. Uh, we we'll try to get as much in as we can because we have a short week right after Urbana and then another longer week. But um, three very good teams coming up that we're going to have to play well to, to compete with and beat. Um, and, you know, we, we're trying to take advantage of every second we have, whether we have a game or not. We're going to go out there and prepare and work hard every day and get back to the fundamentals, a little bit of our of our basic schemes, and, and try to just correct little mistakes here and there that we've struggled with. Uh, you take a look back over the past couple of weeks. I mean, you have week one uh, where the defense didn't really seem to be doing much of anything, and then week three, I mean, you guys have six or seven turnovers in that game. I mean, what was working defensively for those guys to, to be able to go out there and, and kind of wreak havoc on the West Liberty team? Well, they were just they were doing their job. They were in the right place at the right time. And, and uh, you know, when you put yourself in a good position and you put a little bit of pressure on the other team, uh, you know, some, most of the time good things happen to you. We got – we got uh, some turnovers and we were able to uh, steal some possessions from them in critical times and you know I thought that offensively we probably could have scored more points because of how well our defense was playing I think that we let down a little bit in the second half on offense and that's what really kept West Liberty in the game you know we didn't capitalize on a few turnovers in the second half that we could have uh, but our defense was you know they were playing aggressive they were they were uh, doing their job on every snap and being sound and when you do that good things happen. I remember being on the sideline after Marcus returned that interception for a touchdown there in the first half, and you kind of gathered the defense together and said, one or two more plays like that, and, and we can put them away defensively. Mm -hmm. uh, did you kind of challenge the guys there, and did you see them respond after that? Yeah, I just thought it, at that point, I thought it was good for us to remind them that you know we had to keep playing the rest of the game. There was still a lot of football left, and uh, you know, for, that was the first time we really had a big play on defense all year, and I was just a little bit concerned about getting those guys refocused to go back out there because we were about to kick the ball off and go back out and play defense again. So uh, that was what we really challenged them with was going out and doing it again and staying consistent throughout four quarters. And I thought they did a very good job of doing that. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, I mean, you can't talk about Fairmont State right now without talking about Marcus. I mean, what does he bring to the table so far this year that maybe you didn't see out of him last year? Uh, he's maturing. He's starting to understand the game a little bit better. Uh, I think he still has a long way to go, which is kind of scary because he's playing really well now. Uh, but you know, we we hold him at a higher standard than we do a lot of other people because we know his potential and his talent level and, and the upside he has. But I think he's starting to figure the game out. I know Coach Rankin, Coach Christopher, are doing a great job with him on defense. Uh, and as soon as he uh, continues to learn the little details to the game uh, he's good you know the upside like I said is very very good so, uh, when you have a linebacker like that who, who is learning the game and playing at such a high level um, how does it help out guys on the defensive line and guys in the secondary as far as as how the defense kind of forms a little bit you know I think it has to go uh, both ways all the time you know he's not making tackles unless the guys in the D-line are, are, are getting blocked and holding blocks and uh, you know he's uh, if, if the guys behind him aren't taking care of certain pass responsibilities, he's not making plays in the pass game. So, uh, you know, they all work together, but uh, we're going to keep getting better as a team. He, Marcus knows that. The whole team knows that. And uh, right now they're playing well together, and that's, that's important. And uh, you look at the offensive side of things, I thought uh, against West Liberty, Cooper did a very good job of, of running the offense and running the read option. I mean, it is, you don't really see him use his legs too often, uh, but a Thursday night against West Liberty, that was kind of the, the difference maker there on offense for him anyways. Yeah, we didn't really go into the game with that as much as the game plan as it ended up being. You know, we, we, we knew we could probably get some inside zone stuff going eventually, but 
Uh, we never really went into the game <clears throat> thinking, hey, Coop, you're going to pull it six, eight times and, and, and have such a big game as he did. But uh, again, he just managed the offense. Um, when the opportunity was there, he, he knew what to do. He understood the play and you know, he put his team in a good position and he was able to make a couple plays for us that were, that were huge. But, uh, Coop continues to run the offense and manage the offense well, just like he's done. You know, the first two games he did it fairly well too. And uh, you know, he, if we can get everybody else to play well around him, like I always say, and he manages the game, we're going to be pretty good on offense. Mm -hmm. um, finally, got I guess the the monkey off your back a little bit here with the first one of the season. Um, how do you guys uh, progress and move forward and try to keep piling up some wins here as the season goes on? Yeah, we just got to keep challenging you know ourselves every day. Uh, you know. It, Everyone's important. Every game's big for me. So it's you know, uh, I don't know so much of a monkey off our back as it is you know just being, having some success. I mean, the, the the first week that the work that our kids put in and the work that our coaches did it just didn't add up to the performance that we had against State. So that was a big disappointment. And we knew we had to prove something. And you know I think you saw improvement in week two, and then finally to get some success behind all that hard work and, and kind of say, you know, here's what happens when you do your job and when you put all the work in and you do things right. I think that was the most important thing for us. So, but, you know, just like every other week, we, we're going into it knowing we have to play well to compete with anybody in this conference, and we just have to keep building on uh, what we're doing. And, and, you know, there's good and bad to a bye week. It's good that we get a break and we get some injured guys back, but it's also tough because we were playing really well, you know, last Thursday night. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for us as a staff to stay on them and keep pushing them and, uh, and we'll see what happens from here on out. The Coach Woodman Show is brought to you by Little General. The Coach Woodman Show will be on timeswvcom each Wednesday before Fairmont State football games.